So this weekend I was sitting around thinking about stats class and and that I just was watching NCAA, NCAA tournament and I thought, well, Catholics are really good at basketball. And the way to determine this is to calculate the number of the portion of Catholic schools in the NCAA tournament relative to all Catholic universities. So that's what this problem is about. Proportions. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, we're going to I'm going to calculate the z score for uh, this problem. I'll determine the probability and also determine the p value. So, NCAA tournament, 12 out of 64 teams are Catholic. 12 divided by 64 is equal to 0.19, which is your proportion, or 19%. 4% of all universities are Catholic. I looked these up, and you can look. I Googled it, and this kind of calculated this out. So, the equation is this nasty looking equation like that. And I'm going to plug in some numbers, and it become a little simpler. So, I say so a lot, don't I? Anyway, proportion of Catholic schools in NCAA tournament is 0.19. Minus 0 0.04, which is the proportion of all Catholic schools, universities. The sample size is the number of teams in the NCAA tournament. So, we get this equation right here. 0.15 divided by 0 0.02449. If you want to do the calculation, just pause it and get your calculator out. So, our z-score is equal to 6.123. So what can we conclude? One, if a z-score is greater than three, don't need to look it up. We know that's a really big z-score. The probability of this occurring by some random chance is basically zero. The p-value we would express as less than 0 0.001. This is not occurring by some random lucky chance that all these Catholic schools got in the NCAA tournament. We can conclude there's a disproportionate number of Catholic school, Catholic universities in the NCAA tournament. Don't know why it is, it's just that way. So 500 years from now, archeologists conclude that Catholics were exceptional basketball players. And they got data to prove it.